I have one Mini Brands Create Garden Series ball to open and put together. Originally, I thought these looked super cute and I was excited until I saw them in person, which is one of the really cool things about those in-box displays is you get to see what they actually look like in the scale. And these are huge compared to the other stuff, which is one of the reasons I threw together like a lifestyle themed background so that we can see this versus all this stuff. I just grabbed one random ball. I didn't even feel two to see which was heavy or nothing. I just grabbed one and decided I was going. Okay, it says create your own cute mini garden. Mini brands create, and that's about it. Let's go ahead and open it and see what we got. This is not a satisfying tear at all. Okay, so first, take a look at all the options. The only thing I've seen online, because I haven't really been looking, is this bonsai tree because somebody had posted on Reddit that they bought like five total balls and got four bonsai trees. So if I get the bonsai tree certified that it is in here way more than it should be. So right away I'm really interested in the big cactus set, the terrarium, the succulent set, and a couple of the others are cute too but those are the three that I would most want so I'm not gonna get any of them because that's not how this surprise capsule stuff works. Magic UV glue. This feels like a container. Yeah, I don't have very much stuff in here, so it doesn't seem like it's a big one. Oh. What did I thought? Oh, it's orchids. Dang it, I just got orchids. Oh, jeez. Okay, so a lot more assembly than the mini brand's orchids. And oh, so it actually came with two of the different things on here. Oh, so I looked at this side. If you look at the other side, it's going to tell you what you got, I guess. So it looks like maybe you get one of these with each set because I got the one that has three little doodads and then it has the orchid instructions. Oh, there it is. I'm just blind because it's white on white. This one I like because it has a little rocks and a little tray. That one is really boring. It's definitely one of the most boring ones. Oh well. <laughs> Throw the instructions to the side. The one for the little succulent just has three holes in it. So you just poke your little guys in. Oh, so there it is. And there you are. It's kind of wonky, but they're all in there. And then that goes in there. You don't go in quite all the way. Oh, and it kind of snaps down into it. So then that puts the stem bits under the lip. And then you can see the dirt inside. So that one's not too terrible next to my other ones. This orchid is like at a big scale, I feel like, for the mini brands. They're the mini verse. But then like this Monstera is like a miniature next to those. <laughs> Let's just start popping these on. Yeah, it doesn't have any specific directions. Just put your orchid flowers on your stem. These, at the size that these are, feel a little bit more like something I could maybe run out to like Michaels and buy in the fake flower section. One other thing that these really appeal to me, some of them have snails. I really wanted a snail. This one didn't have a snail, but it does have a cute little ladybug. So at least there's that. So I have one of my orchid flowers. It's definitely easier to start with the lowest flower first. Here's my other. I like this side better on this one. And the leaves are like super plasticky. I don't love those a ton. But oh well. Stick 
those in and then into the pot. And here we have the difference between the orchids. Honestly, I think that the mini brand's orchid is a lot simpler. Like, it's bigger, it's poofier, there's more flowers, it feels more substantial because there are all these big individual bits. But I think that the mini verse one is so much prettier and more delicate and feels like a fancy orchid. I like the little like, tendrils down here. I think the leaves are really nice. I think that the color detail is really nice. Whereas these are just plain white and yellow. There's no definition in the color. I honestly feel like if I just touch that up with a little bit of paint, it would work out really nice. And then you're supposed to put your ladybug on there, which I do like the ladybug idea. Yeah, and the, the rocks in here can be an issue, I guess, if you tip things over like I do and you don't glue them down or UV them, resin them down. But um, I just think that this, it looks so much more delicate and more orchid-like to me. And like the peonies, like just pretty color variations too. So that's definitely something that the mini verse does. The Monstera has a really basic green overall color, kind of like these leaves and these leaves, but the mold detail really gives it a lot of shadow and definition. And then this little plastic shovel, your trowel, there is no competition to me which one of these is cuter. Like, this is cute, and maybe my daughter will like it for her Barbies, <laughs> but this one is just so nice. It's like Walmart versus Target. You might spend the same amount of money, but the Target one's gonna be cuter. <laughs> and then, I didn't use this. I think this whole bottle is for the ladybug. For your $10, you're definitely getting a lot. There's no denying that it's a lot of stuff for that, that $10, right? For the home series, you're paying like $7, but for the bigger lifestyle sets, those are also $10, they're at the same price point as these, and these, they're bigger, they're more substantial, they're more kid-friendly, uh, because there's not really any resin needed. I mean, I can definitely see these being pretty popular, especially with people that aren't stuck into a certain scale for their miniatures. So if you're not like really into like one six and you don't display them with other things or, you know, I could see people using these for magnets and stuff up alongside their others. Yeah, I think that these are, they're nice. I think they're a good quality product. I think I still prefer my mini verse. However, I, I can see that some of these are just really cool. Like this one, that one, that one. This other orchid is actually pretty cool with the whole little like rock set up. The bonsai has a snail. The orchid has a snail. Oh, there's butterflies. I didn't see those. I mean, at least I got one that has a, uh, a bug. Because it looks like the succulent and the cactus maybe don't have bugs. Even though they're the cutest. Oh, apparently there's some scented ones. Which I'm kind of glad I didn't get those because I have allergies and I would be afraid that they would make me sneeze. Or that I just wouldn't like the smell. Like, I I do not like the smell of roses. My husband got a rose-scented cleaner once, and I cannot use it. It's so strong. It's so terrible. Yeah, so I, I probably won't get any more of these. I, I think it's nice to have one set just to try it out, but I just don't... Kind of like the spa set. It's nice to try it, but it's not really for me. I don't feel like I was the target in mind with these and I'm okay with that and I'm sure it will work great for the people that want it. I'm sure they'll love it. Again, I might actually disassemble these and let my kid put them together because I think that they would really enjoy that. Let's see if it's a cute little ladybug. Cute little ladybug all day long. My little aphid eater. Thanks for joining me today. If you like this video, please like, subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you next time. Have a great day. Bye!